Now I will show you how to use the shopping function. Select shopping from the top menu. Here you can make shopping lists that will show up on the user's mobile device. In order to make a shopping list, you must upload products, that is, images of groceries that you want to add to the list. To add a new product to the library, click Add New Product. Type the name of the product and the price. Upload an image of the product. When you are done, click Save. Repeat this to add more products. You can view all of your products by clicking All Products. Here you can see all of the products that you have added to the library. When you have uploaded all of the products that you want the user to buy, you can create a shopping list. Click Create Shopping List. Now select the products that you want to add to the shopping list. Type the name of the list, for instance Monday Shopping, the total price of the selected products will be calculated automatically. Finally, click Create Shopping List. The shopping list will now be saved and made available on the user's mobile device through the Money Handling Assistance app. When you click Create Shopping List, the web suggests that you create a reminder for the shopping trip, including how much money the user must bring to the shop. You have three choices. You can create a reminder with the exact amount, that is, the calculated amount, or you can type the desired amount in the box. and click Create Reminder with Extra Amount or you can choose not to create a reminder, click Cancel. If you choose to create a reminder, the web will take you to Edit Event. A predefined text will appear in summary, including the price that you have selected. This text can be changed as desired. Now choose date and time and other options that you want to add to this calendar event. When you are done, click Save. The reminder will then appear on the user's mobile device. If you want to remove some of the products that you have uploaded, you can select all products. Choose the product or products that you want to remove and click remove product.